What's happening, YouTube fam? It's your boy Drizzle. It's your boy Drizzle. Boy Drizzle. It's your boy Drizzle. Y'all gonna hit that like button for the girl. Share, comment, and subscribe. If you've been before, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome to my channel, baby. So let's get to these presents, go. Christ, Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this food I'm about to receive. May it be noticed to my mind, body, and soul. In Christ Jesus' name, yes, we do pray. Eight to man's. Oh, God. Child, look. I'm so damn hungry, I'm shaking. Ooh. Good. I want to give a shout out to Monkey. I love this woman on YouTube. I watch her videos all the time. As you see, I got her cookbook. She is the shit. Monkey, girl, if you ever watch this, thank you, girl. I love me some Monkey. And thank you to Charlie. Damn, I just hit my face. For um, getting this for me, too. Thank you. Yes, honey. I'm going to be cooking a lot of her recipes next year. Let me see, so down. Fancy mm. girl. Uh, but anyway, how y'all been? That's the one that got the sugar on it. This is the red one without sugar. The sugar is optional, just an FYI. Wow. And see, I'm not really big on corn dogs. But when I seen that video, I was like, girl, I gotta do that. Yes, like I said, shout out to you, Monty girl. Mm -hmm. What you call it? Korean French fry corn dogs? Something like that. Girl, mm -hmm. they huge. Wow, look at that bread in there, bro. Mm. I know I've been gone for a while. A child's been a crazy last week for me. Child. Mm. My car had broke down on the time. I didn't have no means of getting around. I had some crazy ass shit going on with my job. I ain't gonna talk about that. But I, I don't know. I'm just stay prayed up and keep my mind straight though. I'm gonna try to y'all. No, I'm going to. Cause I, I can't be doing this shit no more. Mm -mm. But anyway, I hope y'all doing well. And um, I've been meaning to talk to um, Lady Finesse, girl. Now, for those of y'all that watch my videos all the way through, y'all know I mentioned somebody that died, that I thought died, and I hadn't heard from her in a while. But this is the whole story behind it. Um. Okay, um, the lady that I, that I know, she had been doing videos consistently. Now all of a sudden she just stopped. And maybe about three months in, I sent her a message. And you know, I was like, I hope you're well. You know, I haven't seen you post no video in a while. But then she texted me back saying, my mom died. So when she said that, when you said that, Finesse, 
I was under the impression that I was talking to Brianna. That's who I thought said that her mom died. So when she said, when you said that, I was like, oh no, finesse gone. And then months later, I seen the damn thumbnail of your ass that them crabs, girl. I was like, oh, I know you fucking lying. So that's what I want to talk to you about, finesse. Yes, girl, I misunderstood that message, honey. I'm sorry about your mama. Sorry to hear about that. But I was under the impression that that was you. But I'm glad you're doing good though, mama. Shout out to y'all. I love that finesse. I love watching her on my videos. Yes, honey. Dress me up in some dry girl. Mm. But anyway. I want to get child. Damn. To my girl Kayla. She had her baby. Um, I don't know if y'all watch, like I said, I don't know if y'all watch my video through and through, but I was talking about my homegirl and how she was, uh, you know, possibly going to a premature birth, which she did. The baby's here, she's healthy, but she's still in the hospital. So I want to give a shout out to y'all and Olivia. I don't think I got no pictures of her right now. If I do, I'll put it up, but other than that, she's doing good. And so is the baby. So shout out to y'all. I love y'all so much. Okay, I know you be watching my shit hard. Mm -hmm. And y'all also, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna be more consistent with my videos. I just been getting derailed sometimes. You know, I have not known a successful person to not have um, you know fell off the rails for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We all have our trials and tribulations, my child. It's a lot harder when you're on your own, but I'm pushing through it, no problem. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, y'all, for my Christmas dinner, I'm gonna cook me some homemade spaghetti. I've been craving spaghetti, and that's what I'm gonna have. Next week. What y'all have for thank? I mean, damn, why do I keep saying Thanksgiving? Did I say Thanksgiving, Christmas? I guess I keep thinking about my last video I posted because it was my Thanksgiving meal. But yeah, y'all, I plan on posting that next week. My Christmas meal time. Oh yeah, y'all comment down below too if y'all enjoy my TMT segment. Child, I got a whole new outfit for that. Well, I mean, it's the same outfit, but it's just some different things. So, uh, y'all just stay tuned for that, child. But I love y'all so much. Thank you to my 300 subscribers. I finally reached over 300 subscribers. I know I said I was going to do a seafood boil once I did reach over 300. But that's probably going to be sometime next year, y'all. Because we already at the end of this year. And I think I can do about maybe two more videos before the end of the year. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. And um, y'all just sit tight and stay tuned, girl, for this new TFT look, girl. All rise. Chef Judge Drizzle's courtroom is now in session. Thank you, baby. Welcome to Chef Judge Digital Chambers.
Y'all already know before we get into this video, this is strictly for entertainment purposes only. No shade, no read. Just stating the obvious. Okay? So, with that being said, first of the back end, we the people versus uh, Mar Mardell, Mariah, wanna be a bottom. Sick dick in the booty ass Phelps. Ho, you are being charged with attempted murder, armed robbery, and trying to make your partner top you, bitch. You out. Uh, it says right here, Tampa police arrested Mardell Mariah wannabe a bottom ass Phelps for shooting his 52 year old partner, his, aka his lover. Now, it was because he didn't give you the money, or did you want that dip, bitch? Phipps' uh, partner, you know, um, he told the police that he was tied up in his kitchen, and Phipps threatened to kill him with a silver revolver, and later told him that he was playing around. Phipps, you don't play with no shit like that, nigga. You are out of order. Uh, shortly after that, Phipps asked his partner for a ride. When they got closer to their destination, Phipps again pulled out his revolver and forced his partner out of the car and shot him three times in the face and the head and drove off. Phipps, were you that anxious to get to that dick bit? <laughs> Phipps' partner had surgery done and was able to speak to detectives who said he identified Phipps as the shooter. Phipps has then been found and is facing numerous felonies. But today you're facing Chef Judges. In that oh. Phipps. We the people are gonna send your ass to be smashed with a porcupine dildo, bitch. Since you wanna be out here riding, riding off of people's shit and dick riding, bitch. You are out of all. Bitch, and we gonna send your ass to be smashed right there though 24 um, hours a day, 7 days a week, bitch. Let's speak on order, that is the order. <laughs> Case closed, next page, um, bitch. Case, but, uh, pay all court costs, fines, and fees. You gotta be stripping all over this shit. This is fuck shit. Ooh, bitch, you are out of order. <laughs> next to the knockout, we the people versus wannabe leather face ass Stewart. Saltine. You are being charged with terroristic threats and hate crime enhancement. Being a racist ass Trump supporter. <laughs> trying to be the next motherfucking egg in. Beyond the size having ass dick. And being a full blown ass asshole. On Saturday afternoon, 25 year old Norma Nemox was being dropped off by her sister. That's when she first noticed a man standing in this window on the second floor. I'm going up the steps to my apartment. For the incident. The woman says he got back when police were there and that's when they arrested him. In an interview with LPD, Stewart claimed that black people had been stealing from him and that, quote, she was guilty because she was black. My neighbors knew he was crazy as that shit too because they said that all day in his apartment he's been revving up that chainsaw talking about people stealing from him. Newbuck says she's contacted her landlord but they haven't said if he will be allowed to return. She says it's no longer just a safety issue for her and her five-year-old son, but for the whole complex. I guess when he saw me, he figured I was the soft target of them, 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 not today. I pulled my gun and put that hot lead up there and put some on his mind that day. He ain't gonna be trying to live out his leather face, picture chase, all massacre fantasies over here. Looks like he ran up on the wrong bitch, didn't he? 
bitch says you want to be out here so hostile and reckless to the African Americans, I'm gonna send your ass to get your motherfucking arms cut off, bitch, and with that same chainsaw. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And that old. And uh, that role that you wanna uh, be playing as far as Leatherface is canceled, bitch. In that order. Pay our cost fines and fees, bitch. Next to the like it. We the people versus candy. Wanna be a tiger, cows, or candy? Girl, you are being charged for being a dumbass silly hoe. When you stuck your hand in that tiger's cage knowing it's against protocol, let's speak on all. Candy girl, who um, has volunteered for five years, was grabbed by a tiger while reaching her arm into the cage during feeding time. Hold oh, you are out of order. The Big Cat um, Rescue, a temple animal sanctuary owned by Carol Baskin, says that uh, Kimba the tiger grabbed her by her arm and nearly tore it off at the shoulder. Candy girl, I bet you ain't volunteering no more. They say the tiger Kimba broke Candy's arm in uh, three different places. And uh, her shoulder was fucked up and she could not move her fingers. Girl. Surgery was later on uh, thereafter scheduled. Candy girl. I'm going to send you to some uh, tiger training classes. As well as some tiger kwando. Girl. Um. Because you know uh, what you should have did was uh, Tiger Kwon Do, that damn uh, big ass cat in his damn nose. He would have let your ass go in. <laughs> tiger training class and then Tiger Kwon Do. Candy girl. That's your sentence. That is the up. Oh. <laughs> case closed. Next case. Pay code cost fines and fees. Candy girl. Silly. Next to the rocket. We the people versus the LA County Pig Department. Pigs. Y'all are being charged with tasing an unarmed African American after he flagged y'all bacon smelling ass down for help to assist someone who had just been in a car crash. Something wrong with him. Like, even when he came over here for your accident, yes. he was talking to me and I could tell that there was something wrong with him. You know what I'm saying? So now y'all... Y'all garbage eating ass are out of order! Slaying the, you know, the uh, car crash victim of the car accident posted a video which shows the encounter and also Slang posted on his uh, Twitter account that he um, got into a bad car accident and that this man tried to fly the police down for him and the pigs had tased the man trying to help. Then another, um, presumably a relative runs out of the, um, the house to assist his, his uh, cousin or whatever. After a while the pigs restrained the second man as well. The Los Angeles Pig Department released a weak ass statement about the incident after it after it went viral. Really, yep. Both men were taken to the hospital for treatment, but the man who was tased is still under care during that time. I'm so sick of y'all smell the racist. Yeah. Oh, I Let's speak on the order. Um, pigs of LA dropping the topic bomb on the whole system in that up. <laughs> case closed, next case. Pal call calls a fine and fees, pigs. Next to the docket, we the people versus Lorena. Cut a bitch dick off Bobby. Ooh. Lorena, you are being charged with cutting that dick off, bitch. So you are out of order. 
Lorena Bobbitt um, claims to have been a victim of spousal abuse. Um, but I'm not comprehending uh, why didn't you divorce his ass, Lorena? If he was out there just abusing your ass and raping you, your ass, why the fuck did you just uh, just leave? See, that's what I don't understand about these silly ass hoes. Lorena cut a bitch dick off, Bobby claims. She cut off John's dick with a uh, Makamai's kitchen knife after he came home uh, one night and raped her. How the fuck do you rape, you rape your own wife? <sighs> I'm sending both of y'all dumb, silly ass saltines to be strapped in a straight jacket since y'all both can't seem to keep y'all motherfucking hands to y'all selves. And if y'all pull some shit like that again, I'm gonna send both of y'all ass to be beat in the face with this damn gavel bitch in that office. <laughs> case closed, next case. Power code call find the fees, dummies. Oh, girl. Y'all, this is the end of the segment, girl. I hope y'all enjoyed it today. I hope y'all like this whole new, whole new little child. This shit is hot as fuck. But anyways, y'all, y'all leave some TMT um, segments down that y'all want me to bring to my courtroom, girl. Y'all need a little bit of help with this tea and stuff. Help me spill the tea, girl. Bring it to my courtroom, Chef Judge Treasures. Hashtag. Mm -hmm. But like I always say, y'all laugh this guy's gift on this trouble-ass world. Till next time, keep laughing. Case closed, next case, let's speak on the up. Well, y'all, that's all I got for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are being safe out there. Wearing your mask, girl. Um, shout out to all my friends and family once again, my new subscribers. Thank you so much for the love and support. And, um, <coughs> y'all um, comment down below too. So, um, let me know what y'all want to see. And what should be brought to Chef Judge's courtroom, girl. Hmm, just speak on my order. Child. Anyway. But anyways, y'all take care. Until next time. And in the meantime, y'all behave. Stay prayed up. Ain't like nobody's watching.